New Mexico has a major doctor shortage. A 2022 study shows New Mexico has lost around 30% of its primary care providers in the last four years. But legislators are trying to fix this. News 13's Natalie Wattis joins us live with details on the latest effort. Natalie. Senate Bill 231 looks to appropriate seven and a half million dollars to the Higher Education Department to address the physician shortage problem. Strike up a conversation with virtually anyone in your community and you'll be hard pressed to find someone who hasn't had to wait six months or more for an appointment, sometimes with horrific consequences. Addressing our state's health care needs requires an all of the above approach. The study also shows unusually large numbers of doctors in New Mexico are nearing or above retirement age. Advocates for this bill talked about how dire the physician shortage has gotten in New Mexico, saying we need to keep the doctors we have and recruit young people to the medical field in the state. Now, Senator Carrie Hamblin says her bill will help accomplish these goals and more. With Senate Bill 231, the governor has allocated $7.5 million to the Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine to build and enhance several initiatives that will be dispersed over three years. These funds will recruit students into the medical field, develop much needed medical infrastructure, and address the need of more medical practitioners in the state. The bill did pass the Senate Education Committee, but not before Senators Neville and Kernan said other issues that need to be addressed include fixing medical malpractice laws and getting more options for residencies across the state. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. From here, the bill he heads to the Senate Finance Committee. The study showed we are also well below the national average for psychiatrists, OBGYN, and general surgeons. Rural hospitals in New Mexico are hurting more than more populated areas.